How's it going everybody? Stefano here and today we're going to be talking about a few things that all beginner birders should do. If you're new here to the channel and you love birds and you love birding, please consider subscribing to my channel down below for more of my videos. Over on my Instagram account I made a poll asking how many of you thought you were beginner birders and I was actually pretty surprised to see the number uh, that high so I decided to make this video on a few things that all beginner birders should do. So for my first tip I want to actually start you off with a bit of a backstory. A few months ago I visited France for the first time. I've never even been to Europe and what ended up happening was I was in Central America right before that so I didn't have a whole lot of time to study my European birds but when I got there I realized that I kind of knew every bird right away and I was really shocked because you know I didn't study too much and all the bird ideas were just popping in my head and I knew the names of the birds as I was seeing them and it wasn't really ever a struggle and I was curious why that was and then I realized that I've been following European photographers, well European bird photographers, uh, for you know a year or two on Instagram and through the mindless scrolling I was actually learning my birds. So one thing I suggest to you is whether you're going to a new area or you're just starting to learn the birds in your area, try to follow bird photographers that are actually located around you. So when you're scrolling through Instagram, instead of it just being you know like a mundane task, you're actually learning your birds. So Follow people that actually put the names of the birds under their photos um, and you'll see it might not seem like you're learning them but over time you're going to start picking up these names really quickly. One bonus tip that I'll give you revolved around this first tip is say for example you're scrolling and you see a picture of a bird. If you ID it, instead of just scrolling past, try to see what, what the habitat it's in. So what tree it's in, is it an open field? And this will give you clues when you go out where you can find this specific species. So I'll use owls as a as a really good example. Uh, when I first started out, I would go out looking for owls all the time. I didn't have much experience, so I almost never found them. But through seeing so many photographers' photos, you can kind of tell which trees they like to go in because they'll use their camouflage to blend into specific trees. So if you're walking through the woods and you see a certain tree, you know, a light bulb might go off in your head and you might say, hey, I've seen photos of this before. Owls love this type of tree. So knowing your trees, knowing your plants, knowing your habitat are great ways to give you clues as to what species are in your area. So tip number two is to keep a bird life list. And I'm talking from experience. Even if you're just starting and you're not sure if you're gonna stick with birding or continue birding, keep a list just in case. Talk from experience because before I got into birding, I was in South Africa for a month and I saw hundreds of birds and I didn't record any of them because I wasn't into birding at the time. I was just slowly getting into it, but I wasn't sure if I was going to continue. And now, you know, my only birds that I have from South Africa are the ones that I actually took photos of, which was like 10 or 11 species. All birders that I've talked to, I think the consensus of the biggest regret they have about birding is that they didn't keep a life list sooner. So I strongly suggest that you make an eBird account. It's the easiest way to digitize your life lists and it'll keep all your stats for you. So you can go through everything you can see, you know, by city, you can see by, by state, by country, everything. And over time, you know, you're gonna have all your lists here. And for me, it's kind of like a, a bit of a diary. Like I'll look through old lists and I'll say, oh yeah, I remember this day, you know, this is where I got this. It'll show you all your lifers, where you got them, specifically dates and everything. So, you know, the easiest way to do it, they also have an app where say you're going into the field, you would just turn on the app, start a new checklist for that specific spot. And as you see birds throughout the day, you just keep adding them on. So very, very useful. I'll put a few links down below. You can also check eBird stats to help you track birds. So for migration right now, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm kind of seeing as the birds come through the US and they're gonna reach me eventually here in Eastern Canada, but you can kind of see where the birds are. I can't talk highly enough about eBird. Uh, I'm a super eBird nerd. I love looking at my stats. It's super nerdy, but anyways. But trust me, whether it's online or on a book, just keep a life list. Even if you think it, your observations are irrelevant or pointless, just keep it. You'll thank yourself later. So my third and final tip is to go out with as many different birders as you can. Everybody has different experiences, different knowledge, different insights, and you just want to be like a sponge and absorb as much as you can. Say for example, you're at home and you're studying a bird in a field guide. You know, the field guide is the most optimal you'll ever see a bird. It's, you know, perfectly lit and everything, but when you get out into the field, you know, there's branches in your way, there's sun at the bird's back, for example, and it could be pretty difficult to see the field marks that you need to see. So having a birder next to you that can tell you what they're seeing in real time is way more effective and it's way more realistic too than, you know, just learning your birds through a field guide. So go out and just 
put in the hours, work with as many different people as you can. Uh, they'll definitely give you little tips here and there that you might not even think of. So those are my three tips for all beginner birders. Follow local bird photographers, learn your trees and plants, make a life list, and go out with as many different birders as you can. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it provided something new that you weren't maybe thinking about before. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have any suggestions for any other beginner birding videos that you want me to make, leave them down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.